Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to a very special installment of Iowa Live. Jackie, we are broadcasting live from outside of our normal studio. We're just a couple of miles north of I-80 on 141 at the grand opening of an awesome building. Yeah, Burkle Retirement Planning, a beautiful building that you'll have an opportunity to come out and enjoy the party later on this afternoon. But right now, we're very excited to have this be our home this morning. But this is also a home to another very special program that is here to assist you to make sure you have all your plans in place for retirement. So again, we have joining us this morning, Lauren Merkel, and the host of that show we're talking about, a very familiar face here in central Iowa, Molly Nelson. Good Thank morning. you so much for So being Molly, here. we're in your space now, aren't we? Welcome. Welcome to our TV <laughs> studio. Isn't it beautiful? This is awesome. Uh, no, we amazing. shoot a television show right inside here once a month. We shoot four episodes and then we air them. And it's so much fun to, for me, as a kind of former television journalist, to still get to use some of those skills, but get to tell the story of retirement success and work with Lauren Merkel and his team. Absolutely. Okay, so Lawrence, let's talk about this show yeah. a, a little bit. Let's talk about your show. What's it called? It's called Retiring Today with yeah. Lauren Merkel, and it airs a few different times throughout the weekend. The most consistent is 1030 Sunday morning. Okay. okay. If and you want to tune in uh, to your favorite channels and, and check that tune out. Tune in, DVR it. We have all of our past shows on our website or in our YouTube channel, so if you if you find the content relevant to you, you know, mm -hmm. you're going through some of these, this through this phase of life that is is rather challenging but we never predicted it to be challenging which mm -hmm. is the retirement phase mm -hmm. you know as as we grow up as we go through different phases of, of our lives we're 30 years old and we're thinking about this magical time that's way off in the distance maybe three lifetimes away called retirement which gives us the freedom the luxury of time and then we get there and then we realize we have to make all of these tough challenging decisions most right. of them are permanent we can't change them once we make it them and the anxiety starts to set in and that's that's why we do the show it's an easy educational format that people can just sit at the comfort of their home in their couch or their lazy boy and just consume this information that hopefully our intent is to help them make the smartest best decisions they can for their retirement. And how do you come up with the content for your programs? How do you select which topic you're going to discuss? It's through experience. It's through relevant times. Uh, so it does change based on current law legislation, does impact retirees, pre-retirees mm -hmm. decisions. Uh, but just experience. You know, we meet with people every single day. So we're talking to them about the things they're thinking about, the things that they're worried about. And that helps us prepare for the show. It helps us prepare for the classes that we teach. Because what they're thinking about, what pre-retirees and retirees are thinking about what they're going through is always on the top of our mind because they're bringing it to us. Yeah, you're using real life experiences. Real life. So we're going to talk about how you can be a part of that here in a matter of moments. We're, we're watching or we, we're just seeing some images, I should say, Molly, of you and this uh, fabulous wheel next to you. So how are you incorporating a colorful wheel and talking about retirement? Okay, so one time my aunt said to me, Molly, I sure like seeing you on TV, but that's a boring subject you're working <laughs> on. <laughs> oh, Rachel, I hear you. Family. So sometimes when people <laughs> say that we're going to talk about finances man was there so many other things you'd rather talk about but I what we really try to do on this show is not only give it to you in a digestible way we try to use visual components so you saw some photos of us with some apples yeah those represented Apple stock so we did a, a mutual funds exercise where we show you how buying and selling within a mutual fund isn't always advantageous for retirees and pre-retirees so something like this wheel we just have fun we try to spin it and this was the wheel of retirement misfortune so there are some <laughs> There are some assumptions like on here, like, here's one that is interesting. Oh, my kids will take care of me. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> right. Don't we wish? Um, sometimes we think that that's kind of an assumption we have, that that's going to happen in retirement. And Lauren has so much experience doing this that he'll say, okay, that is a possibility for some, but let's put a plan in place that in case your kids can't take care of you, you can take care of yourself or your retirement plan can take care of you. So we try to use some visual components that really hit home for those pre-retirees and retirees. Yeah, it's nice to have those dreams, but let's take a look at reality Correct. and to make sure you are set for life. So you're saying a financial show can be entertaining. We Lauren. try hard. We try so hard. We teach these classes and at the class we designate about 20 minutes just for a topic like taxes. Mm -hmm. Whoever thought asleep. taxes. <laughs> Who would well, the, sit, sit down to listen to all this? Well, I know that's the key and not yet. We taught hundreds of classes not one time has somebody fell asleep during taxes and, oh, and I, I think that I think that is a win all by itself right. what is the, the, the number one thing people ask you about if they come and ask for some retirement planning advice yeah the number one thing is is income 
And if you think about it, that just seems so mundane because we go through 30, 40 years, we're always making an income, we feel good about it, we get to the later phases of our, of our income producing lives, and usually the debt's kind of paid off or down and we feel real good about the income coming in, but then we retire. And when we don't go to work, we don't get an income right. from our job. We have to supply that income from now this finite amount of resources that you've spent a lifetime saving. So what in their, in their minds, they're thinking, how much can I receive mm -hmm. to live the lifestyle I've grown accustomed to that I want to continue on? Right. And how do I not run out? How do I not run out of income before I run out of time? And this, this, this country is in a retirement shortfall e epidemic. It, there's a study out there that says men outlive their income by an average of seven years, women by an average of 11 years. 11? 11 years. Imagine have, living 11 full years, seven full years, and all of your investment resources are gone. You're wow. left with Social Security, maybe a pension. Wow. And that's what we're faced with. So income is, is really on the top of minds of a lot of pre-retirees. Where are they going to get it from? How much can they receive and how do they make sure they don't run out? Now, you mentioned a 30-year-old earlier, and ideally they would be planning for retirement uh, right when they start working just to make sure things are clicking along. But uh, as you're getting closer, there are a lot of people that may not have done those steps, have not taken care of those steps in the proper fashion. Uh, what's a window before retirement that you, re you really should sit down and say, we, we have to plan for this? One of the biggest pieces of feedback we receive is, I wish I would have met you 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. And they feel like it may be a little bit too late. It's not too late. For most people, it's not too late. If you can start doing the type of retirement planning that we are talking about 10 years prior to retirement, okay. that's a win. That's a good thing. But, but don't despair. If you're sitting here and you want to retire next year or two years from now, it doesn't have to be too late. There's a lot of steps that you can take to improve your retirement. And even if you're currently retired and you're worried because you have to make a Medicare decision or you think you might run out of money and you don't know where to go, don't despair. Create the plan. Create the, the foundation of what the rest of your life is going gonna, is gonna to look like, and that will help you. So you can even help people that are officially retired. You, oh, can, yeah. you can help them tweak what they have. Yeah, we, we help people prior to retirement, but we also help people who wow. are, are already retired. And there's oftentimes there's a lot of things that we can do post-retirement. Which is great news this morning, mm -hmm. and I know you're opening a lot of eyes and ears to our viewers who are watching Iowa Live here mm -hmm. in your beautiful space where your show happens. So let's say they are watching from the comfort of their home on their couch in their chair, and they're saying, hey, I have a question I want to ask. They can do that they can for do your show. Yeah, absolutely. We, we, a lot, we try to make this as simple and easy as possible. You can text in. You can submit a question through our website at MerkleRetirementPlanning.com. You can call the office. There's a lot of different ways that you can do that. And we're right off of 141. It's easy access. Just yeah. stop in. <laughs> just, say, just stop in. I have a in. question. Say <laughs> hi. Yeah, if, what, 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 what was your, we were talking about advice of how to get here. If you're coming from I-80 up 141, uh, you get to the come and go, you hang a right. Hang a right. And if you go to? Go too far, you see Menards. <laughs> we're in the town. Come and go in Menards. Come back. Okay, so normally.